Rub up your engines! All right, today we got a Honda Ridgeline Spark and we're gonna change fluids. Now you might think, oh, no big deal. Well, let me tell you something. Oil's the most important, of course, for your engine oil. But the transmission and the differential is also very important if you want to drive your vehicle a long time. Girl brought me a Toyota Celica. It's an immaculate shape. It was 20 something years old, but she had to replace the transmission at 160,000 miles because she'd never changed the fluid. No one told her and the transmission went out. Okay, my Celica has 240. It's been changed every 30,000 miles because I bought it from the original owner and I changed it for her every 30,000 miles. At last, you want to change the fluids in your transmissions and your differentials. They cost a small fortune when they go out. Something like this, they'll last a long time in a Honda, but when they go out, you'll get another car rather than replace them. They're so expensive. Now, especially in these Hondas, important that you use the right fluid in the transmission and in the differential in the rear because Hondas are very, very touchy. So make sure you get the right fluid. Really good engine oil, engine oil, engine oil, right? But when it comes to the differential fluid in a Honda, you really want to use our VTM4 differential fluid. It's extremely important. They have very tricky differentials. Use the wrong one. You don't have to go to the Honda dealer, but you want to buy this stuff. Before we change the engine oil and the transmission fluid and the differential fluid, I'll give you a general overview of the sport. Honda originally made these pickup trucks because they wanted people who had Hondas to have a choice of having a Honda pickup in their driveway. They're not particularly competing with anyone. Now they got a little smaller bed and tow some stuff with them. And they are all wheel drive. Just realize they're not competing with Ford, GMC, Ram. They're not even competing with Toyota. It's basically their own brand of pickup truck. And interesting enough, he bought this because he had a Hyundai and he decided, I'm going to go look at these waves from the ocean a big storm right <laughs> well unfortunately they didn't warn them and there was a low area and that was the end of the undy it floated away that, that was destroyed so he decided to get something a little bit higher all-wheel drive and he's real happy with it and he was smart he didn't shell out the MSRP he bought it used and I do have to say new or used all customers of mine who bought Ridgelines were happy they liked it they did a little bit of research of what they wanted to get they didn't just go on some kind of a whim. Oh, I think I'll get this. They like the idea of a Honda. They like the way it rides. Not phenomenal gas mileage. Not horrible gas mileage. It is all wheel drive. You're not going to get stuck anywhere. The Honda, they got great engines. Pretty good suspension system. So they're a lot more fun to drive around than your run of the mill pickup. Now we're going to change the transmission to differential fluid first. And here's the first thing you got to realize. You got to park it on level ground or it won't be level and you won't do it right. So, now it's on the level part. Now you know they have these crazy plastic covers in the way. And in this case, it's really squirrely because, look, it's a Phillips head screw. And this one's a bolt and this one's a plastic clip. You think they could make their minds up, right? And this screw is on there so tight, it decides it's not going to come off. So, use these funky pliers I have to get the plastic ones off at least. That'll snap them off. They're really hard to get off without breaking otherwise. You can see with the tool, they're relatively easy to get off. God knows why they didn't make them either one all or the same, but no, they decided to make them all different. Now we got enough of clearance, so we can just stick the socket head in there. Don't freak out. Yeah, there's a little bit of metal on there, but they all give off a little bit of metal. Now, there's a lot of crooked guys out there that'll say, oh, well, there's metal filings. Oh, we got to rebuild your transmission now. No, that's normal. You saw the fluid, it's still pretty red, but you're always going to get a little bit of metal filings on it. Metal stuff wears off. That's why. Don't listen to any baloney that people say, it's a lifetime fluid. You never need to change your transmission fluid. There's always crud like this inside, and guess what? You want to get rid of it. My advice on modern cars, I change it anywhere between 30 and 50,000 miles dependent on the vehicle. Now once it stops dripping, we're going to put this in and we're going to do what I always do because you don't want to chance things. Transmission's totally clean, not leaking or anything. We'll measure exactly what came out of this thing and put the same exact amount back in. So I'll tie the plug back in. Now here's my naked weight container. This was empty, so we're going to pour it all in here. Everything that came out and it's out. We're going to be highly scientific. We'll see how many cc's came out and we'll put the same amount back in. Okay, that's 500 cc. Now we'll shoot that back into the drain container. So that's 500 cc's and we'll 
I'll just do the rest and see how much came out. I personally found a lot of the books to give you false information. People will put the wrong amount in. It's best to measure it. So, 2,650 cc's came out. That's what we're going to put back in. Now, you might be wondering, what about the transmission fluid? Well, here's the thing about Honda. They have rather oddball automatic transmissions. They're more like motorcycle transmissions. You got to split the cases to get them apart. They don't have an oil pan. To get to the filter on this thing, it's 13 and a half hours labor. <laughs> taking the whole thing out, taking so nobody changes them unless they're rebuilding the transmission. This is why it's so important to change the fluid, say every 30, 40,000 miles, because you saw there were filings in there. If the filter gets clogged up, ha! Good luck! You're gonna have to take the whole transmission apart. So, it's really important on Hondas to change the fluid regularly. We pour in what came out. You're not going to find two in the mechanics that are going to do it to the cc, but you might as well let's do it right. And there's the last 150. You do it by cc's, you'll get it right. Now we'll change the engine oil and filter. In this case, you can reach the filter from inside the wheel. And if you're really strong, my wrench wouldn't fit because the bottom of the subframe's in the way. But And get your pan ready because it's going to make a mess. You think they could have figured out how to do it without making a mess, but no, they can't. I guess that's beyond their level of technology. They want to make a mess. Well, at least they gave enough clearance. That <laughs> that it came off and didn't get stuck inside. Now don't forget, before you put the new one on, put a little oil on the lip so it doesn't stick. Because the next time you'll never get it off. Now you just spin the filter on and get a rag. Get it as tight as you can with your bare hands. Uh, 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 uh. Alright, that's plenty tight. Then we take out the oil drain plug and wait till it all drains out. Now if you're an absolute fanatic, you could measure the oil coming out. But that's awful messy. I've got all data. You can look it up anywhere. With the oil filter, it's 5.7 quarts of oil. So you can just measure. And it is a normal car, so if you're worried, it's got a dipstick. And you can actually measure it when you put it in, you know? A lot of things don't have dipsticks. This has a dipstick for the engine also. If you don't know, you could just guess with five and then keep adding, but it's 5.7 quarts. So take my advice, here's the one quart. I put in three quarters of a quart first, then the rest. The five, we just pour it in. We pour the rest in, slowly but surely. Don't be in a hurry. Now the engine oil's done, so we can do the differential in the back. Which is pretty simple because it's got a drain bolt here and it's got a fill bolt in here. So we'll remove the drain bolt. All right, it's coming out pretty easy. We'll get it back so it doesn't drip on us. And we'll take it off. Probably a little bit more, too. Sometimes they come squirting out. And out it comes. You can see it looks pretty clean, but again, you can see there's a tiny amount of black on the magnet. Your eyes going to get a little bit, see? Black comes off. And like I said, you have to get the right differential fluid for these Hondas. It's very critical. Don't try a different brand. Get this. He had a hard time finding it, but eventually he found it. And in this case, you don't have to get a syringe and measure anything because the back fill plug is also the measuring plug. You pump fluid in until it starts coming out of the back fill hole, and then it's full. It's a very simple system. We put the drain bulb back on nice and snug then we're going to remove the fill plug here so now that's up and look how nice honda was they put a hole through the frame part here so you can get a pump in there without having to bend the hose usually you got to get a right angle thing it's a mess this they put a hole there so you can fill it up easily you can just stick the suction end in here and then you just pump until it starts dripping out the bottom very easy process now sometimes it's confusing so i paint it in for this and out for this so you don't forget anything because it's kind of bizarre the in comes here and the out goes there we just pump until it starts dripping then you know it's full you can see it's still dry so we keep pumping until it drips out and as you can see now it's full so we'll cap it up and wipe out the little mess you made now I realize he priced all around he still had to pay 40 bucks for that special fluid but do not try to cheap out and use a different fluid. That fluid was specifically designed by Honda engineers for these differentials. You have to use that fluid. It is a lot different than other fluids. For instance, a lot of differentials use a heavy 80, 90, 120 weight gear oil. No, this doesn't. You got to use that fluid with its additive. So, you can see it's not hard to do. Minimal tools are needed and you know it's done right because over the years, I've seen so many people come to me, their differentials are shot, their transmissions are shot. And I tell them, well, you know, you got to change the fluid. And they'll show me three or four or five receipts of having the fluids changed at the dealership. And when I take the stuff out, it's either empty or there's nothing but molasses and sludge showing me that they've never been changed. If you do it yourself, you'll do it right, have peace of mind, 
And then this Honda, hey, it might still be going four or five hundred thousand miles from now. And you knew it was done right, not hard to do. You wonder, what are you going to do with the old oil? Take it to the auto parts stores. They take it away for free. So, do it yourself and you'll do it right. So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.